welcome back to Dr. Josefina's Way and here I am at this beautiful place, the Big Ring with Dr. Franco Camilo. Got it. Javier. Javier. Uh, but I said it the wrong way. It's Javier Camilo Franco. Yeah, I got yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then the, we interviewed you before and you talked to us about all the commercial portion of your business. Yes. That you were into that and then you decided, you know, now I'm going to dedicate some portion of my life to research. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about that research. What is it? Yeah. Uh, in the commercial operation, every year, we lost almost 70% of the bees for almost for eight years. In the world or here? It's almost on the, it's around the world. And that's, 70%? It's a, 70%, okay. I start with 4,000 highs. And when, uh, when, when, do, do, uh, when we go around to California, Maine, Wisconsin, just we had only 1,200 12, highs. So see, we lost like a 200. 2,800 we lost every year. Every so year. This wow. is this is a big a big big problem for yes. the bees. And we, I need to find what happened. This is I decide uh, to to study the bees, and I just create a bee ring. Already I created before because I use the bee ring for me because I like when when I open the hive to connecting with the bees and I try to do something without a. Uh, Here's the bees. This yes. I just build a special house, whereas the bees is, is coming from outside, and I can get it inside, and I can see what happened, and try to understand what the bees say. So mm -hmm. what what what's, what have you found so far about the the sound that what they're trying to say? Because when I was here a little while ago talking to you, you talk about the energy, and the, you know you feel that energy of the bees. So what are they saying to you? Yeah, I I just feel when. I, when I just open a hive, I, I know exactly this hive is good or it's not good. Really? And then because for the sounds. Uh -huh. the, the sound is, the sound tell me exactly what happened with the highs. And this I say, yeah, I feel this high is good. I like to, to try to find the way like the bees is stuck. No? Now, so how do you differ differentiate between this is a good, Hive and this is not a good hive because you're hearing sound. How? Yes, for, for because the it, I mean, it, ha it has to be somebody special to yeah. come and say, okay, this is a good one, this is a bad one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This is this is this is um, because I, I I had that one, but I can listen uh -huh. the sounds coming from the high and I can tell exactly what happened with that high. I say yeah. this high needs some help. Yes. This, uh, when I find out, I say this is the time I need to understand what the beast says. When, when when something happened, so I started to recording the bees and I made a nice place just to listen to the bees and to recording 24 hours to see what happened in a lot in the in the life in a beehive. Uh -huh. And this is the reason I create this. Yes. Yeah? So this is the, this is what you call the bee ring. The bee ring, yeah. Okay. Because this is the same way like the bees is living on the trees. Uh -huh. Yeah, the same way, but be, and it's, it's, you see the air go all through, and this, I take sometimes the police over here call me because it's a, it's a bees around the trees, and I just come in and get the bees and put it inside over here, and all the microphone is inside, and I just listen and recording. Yeah, we're gonna go inside yeah, to yeah. see. Yeah, and because this, this is the way ah, I do this. Yes, and this is the bees I, I study because I want to. I want the bees live around this area. Yes, look at I this. Want to know. Oh, okay. This is the, this is the, all the, the, the bee ring. Yeah, so let's this, is the, this is the box. Yeah. You put it oh, in yeah. and put it the bees and leave it the way like the bees are. Oh, yeah? wow. And okay. you can see it inside. The, the, yeah, let's the go ring. inside. Yeah. Wow. And here we, now we are at the bee ring with Dr. Franco. And tell me about this beautiful amazing place. Uh, this is the place, I, I, the name is the Bee Ring. I just made the copyright about this. This is the place where I, I study the sounds for the bees to find what happened with the bees around the world. Okay. This is all the equipment. Now we had some, it's, we lose the connection and, and um, you cannot see too much, but all this equipment we record in 24 hours, uh, the bees sounds like this we can learn something about about the bees, yeah. like this we can find what happened 
around the world with the bees. So you're saying that they have their own language, their own way to communicating, like the whales, you know, people study the whales and they say, oh, they're singing, or they're sad, or they're joyful. So the same thing with the bees? That, that's exactly the same, the bees. Now, and what do they tell you? What do you hear when you... Yeah. And some of your later research. Yeah, so I, I know exactly what happened with a hive when the bees is happy or unhappy or when it's maybe it's raining and next in two days the bees can tell me and I, I can't, by the sound he produced, I know exactly what happened in a few days. And that's how you know if they're happy, it's a specific sound. Yeah, this is it's because something like uh, something is blooming, like now is the orange is blooming. Uh -huh. The bees is so happy now and start to produce the the wax like this, uh -huh. and, and just and, uh, and maybe in two in three more days or four more days, everything is full in bees, and because the bees here? is happy here. But the sound is different when it's cold, or when or, or, or maybe when the queen is a little sick, they produce different sounds. And this, I recording that sound because I want to to uh, to find the right way to working with a, in a commercial operation with the bees, like this, you don't need to open all the hives because you hurt the bees. Oh. So like this, you with the with the device I I I try to produce. I I like to give it to the beekeepers like this, just just working with really really with the bees needed. So it's you, it's like being like a normal like not normal but like a doctor, right? Because do you get the symptoms from them? This is what they're saying, and you give it to the beekeeper. And the beekeeper will treat them according whether happy, unhappy, yes, exactly. sad, whatever. Exactly. Oh. They open only the sad highs. No, they uh, don't need to they open don't the, the happy, happy one. <laughs> yeah, because the happy is okay. Yes. So why you open? You have four thousand highs. You need to open the whole thing. Just open uh. maybe thousand highs, and this is safe money. The honey no go too high because you no pay a lot of labor, and the bees. Uh, be, be happy in, the, in, in, a, in a high. So, it, because you're doing this research, then people will have like the beekeeper, then, okay, so these are happy bees, so don't touch them. Yes, keep If you didn't do that, they open them because they didn't know. Exactly, and they ah. said you check in and this, this hurts the bees because, you know, over here, it's, over there, it's, it's so hot, it's 100 mm. and, I don't know, 100 degrees, and the, over here, it's supposed to be like a 95, but it's too hot in the bees and you open, you bring more hot and, and this is a wax and the wax is, 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 is with, the, with the heat maybe hurts the bees and the honey coming down. Oh. So this is, all the time the bees is in trouble and the bees need with the air to control the heat inside. Oh wow. And each one of these that we're gonna, you know, there how many here? How many? It's 30. 30 high. 30. Now, everyone has a key, a Queen? Yes, anyone oh, really? has one queen. One queen. Oh, uh, and, and, and each one is a queen. 30 queens. It's 30 queens, yeah. And over here, in this high, one queen can stay maybe five years without without changing. But in the commercial operation, every every six months you need to change the queen because the bees working so hard and it's, uh, they need to change it over here. No, this is like the natural way the bees are. How is the life expectancy of a bee? How, how, how many years, like we're talking, or they fight, you know, how, how old are a bee before it dies? In this time, six weeks. Oh, that's all? That's all, six weeks. And the, and the queen is almost, and, and, and this high is, can live five years. Five years, for yeah. the queen? For the queen, that's because they have spe special food for the queens, and, ah. and does it make the difference. And the bees is traveled a lot, flying and flying, just the bees to get a, one pound of honey needs like to go three times around the world just to get one pound. One pound of honey. And the bees only produce a little draft. Yes. The honey in the whole life. And this is it's a lot of a lot of exercise for the bees and this is like a six weeks no no more. I know you, you your vision for the bee ring is like uh, you plan to have one of of this in every country because you're working with the energy to protect and to make sure that we don't destroy the bees because we're destroying ourselves. So tell me a, bit, a little bit about your vision of having these bee wings all over the world. Yeah, the, the idea is uh, simple. It's, we need to make build bee wings around the world, already steady too around the world, it start to build because we want to connect in. Like this, this guy, I study about the sound for the queens, the, the other one study about the bees, the other study about the, the drums, and we different 
research with the bees and health and make it faster because we're losing bees faster and we need to, to work in so hard and, and to do it by myself is hard because only I had 30 highs and I need 30 computers. I need uh, uh, 120 microphones and, uh, and it's a lot of stuff to keep it in one place and I like to do it in different different places, different country with different scientists, yes, okay, and with yeah. different people like this we can share and connecting together to find what happened with the bees. Now I know research, is, is, it costs a lot of money to do research, so how are you funding the, the research for the protecting the bees and saving the bees and saving us? How, how do you do I, that? I do it myself. You, I do it myself. So you use your own money? Yeah, I use my money to do this, but now it's is, is I need to find the other way because we spend money and money yes. and the bees not produce too much honey. Yes. And the other things I know I need to do to pay this one, I need to keep it the commercial operation. Yes. But if I keep it the commercial operation, I cannot study the bees. So people want to help your foundation or you have a foundation, people want to help you with the, with the research, how do they get in touch with you and go to your website? I just, I just open. I just open now with you and I to try to maybe somebody like to be in this an investor and, and uh, maybe an investor and even the people who really know about the beast to yes. help us yes and, and, and like this we can go faster yes. because we need the bees but you know it, it's so refreshing Javier to meet somebody like you and I've known you for years but I never knew that this is what you do until a few weeks ago um, and it's so refreshing to meet people like you that are willing to pay the money for this you know it's just I, I really admire you in that sense because you put your money where your mouth is most people won't care about this stuff and I think people who are watching and you care about the environment you care, care about the world really to get connected with you and, and do something about it because you know we sit back and they let the planet to be destroyed and, and I don't think it's fair and I, I really have respect and admiration for you and what you do and unfortunately TV time is short and it goes fast when you're having fun and I just thank you so much oh, thank you okay thank you, and thank you. Oh, you know, with my heart and with the bees, we yes. need to find the right people to work together for Absolutely. this. Absolutely, and this is beautiful, it's very, the energy is so pure and so high, it's fabulous. Okay, so we're going to take a break and I'll be right back. Well, I hope you really enjoyed the show and learning about the bees and how important they are. And of course, as always, I'll, I, I want to ask you to follow me on Twitter, like my page and Facebook, to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I hope you are doing great because I'm doing fabulous and we are going to say goodbye and see you soon.